So we're here at the Maitland Art Centre to celebrate Darcy and Tony Crabb finally getting married. She was very nervous and excited this morning, even though she hid it extremely well. But it was very good. And Tony, he hid it very well, but I could see him shaking, which was, uh, it was pretty funny. But you can tell they love each other so much. All those days watching from the windows All those years outside looking in Darcy, um, I'd just like to say that it's going to be an incredibly happy day and I can't wait to marry you. Um, I've loved you for a very long time and um, we have a special son together so it's about time that we got married and I love you with all my heart. How do you feel? Good. You feel good today? Yeah? Yeah. We're going to be one big family aren't we? Yeah. Yeah, it's about time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry, he's not much of a talker, I'm afraid. All at once, everything looks different. Now that I see you. You look beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Thank you for being here. I know you don't like flying. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't like flying. Well, travelling anyway. Oh, I've made the book here myself. Nice oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Oh, thank you. You spoke something yourself. Mm -hmm. I'm Billy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So thank you for the <laughs> <laughs> I promise I won't cry. I promise I won't cry. No, but no, I'm not Hey, Bugger, if you're still at the altar when you get this, which I hope you've made it, um, thank you. I can't wait to marry you. Living in a blur. All that time. Never truly seeing things the way they were. Now she's here, shining in the starlight. Now she's here, suddenly I know. If she's here, it's crystal clear. I'm where I'm meant to go. Everyone stand, please. Thank you, you may be seated. Well, let me welcome everybody. We're here today for a very special and exciting event to celebrate the lives and the joining together in marriage of Tony Crabb and Darcy Cooper. <laughs> in their devotion, respect, and love for each other, Tony and Darcy wish to unite today in the sacred bond of marriage and to dedicate themselves to each other's happiness and well-being as life mates and partners. Throughout history, men and women have sought to recognize the great moments in their lives, and on these occasions, they always call first upon their family and friends to share in the joy and their happiness. Therefore, in the beauty of this day, Tony and Darcy invite all of you to help celebrate their love 
and the beginning of a lifelong journey together we call marriage. <clears throat> and who gives Darcy to be married to Tony? I do. And you can give her a kiss. <laughs> you? Okay. And offer her hand. And I believe you're going to stand over here. Oh, okay. Okay. Very good. Very good. To all the family and friends, I would like to ask if you would now like to affirm this marriage and give you your blessings and support, would you say these two words together? We do. We do. We do. We do. No one said we don't. It's <laughs> a bonus. Now, a good question to ask is what is marriage? Let me answer that with some beautiful words that I think describe and define marriage in the way that two of you want to experience. Marriage is a touching of hearts, a blending of souls, a sacred promise to seek and exalt only the good in one another, accepting all else with understanding in the name of love. <clears throat> well, today, Tony and Darcy, you've chose this day and let me first wish the two of you a lifetime filled with dreams come true. You wished all the peace and joy that comes from having someone to trust, to care for, to share with, but most of all, someone to love the rest of your lives. You wished a kind of love that will sustain you and keep you through good times and maybe some difficult times ahead. That will last a lifetime, a lifetime that you two will enjoy always as you do today on the, this your wedding day. Now remember this is always going to be your anniversary date and Tony I don't want to keep you out of the doghouse. <laughs> so what is today's date? It's the 18th. 18th. May. So you can relax. <laughs> relax. He will never, never forget your special day. Wilfred Peterson wrote The Art of Marriage. He says the little things are the big things. It is never being too old to hold hands. It is remembering to say I love you at least once a day. It is no, never going to sleep angry. It is at no time taking the other for granted. The courtship should not end with the honeymoon. It should continue through all the years. It is having a mutual sense of values and common objectives. It is standing together facing the world. It is forming a circle of love that gathers the whole family. It is doing things for each other, not in the attitude of duty or sacrifice, but in the spirit of joy. It is speaking words of appreciation and demonstrating gratitude in thoughtful ways. It is not expecting Tony to wear a halo or you, Darcy, to have the wings of an angel. So we're not looking for perfection in this marriage, but it is cultivating flexibility, patience, understanding, and a sense of humor. It is having the capacity to forgive and forget. It is giving each other an atmosphere in which each can grow. It is finding things for the room for the things of the spirit. It's a common search for the good and the beautiful. It is establishing a relationship in which the independence is equal, dependence is mutual, and the obligation is reciprocal. So Mr. Peterson concludes by saying it is not only marrying the right partner, it is being the right partner. This is really the art of marriage. So you've chosen this day, May 18, 2017. <laughs> so if we went out to May 17, 2067, how long will you have been married? 50 years. 50. Oh, God, yes. So <laughs> would, you like, would you like to go for that? Longer. 50 years? It's a good sign, point. Yeah. It's a good sign, isn't it? <laughs> well, I know that you're committed to do that. And I just want to congratulate you and and the family and friends that are here today. This is something I want to dedicate to you that I wrote a few years ago uh, prior to a celebration of an anniversary of my wife and I. It's called the miracle of love. There's a miracle that happens when two people say I do. And from that moment forward live a dream that's shared by two. For somehow love grows dear through the seasons, through the years, as they share life through together all its laughter, all its tears. The miracle of love is like the miracle of a flower. It thrives upon the sunshine of a smile. It entwines itself around the heart. Its roots are secured in the memories of yesterday, and its petals breathe the promise 
of joy-filled tomorrows. To be loved is to know happiness and contentment, and to give love is to know the joy of sharing oneself. And so it is through the miracle of love that we will discover the fullness of life. But let me remind you, this is a very precious thing that only loving couples can ever know, for it truly is a miracle just how close two hearts can grow. So let me make a suggestion. Keep your marriage simple. Just take it one day at a time and try to discover just how close your two hearts can grow together. Well, I know you've probably been waiting for a good while to say your marriage vows, <laughs> and you've chose different vows to speak. So first, Tony, you're gonna to speak your marriage vows to Darcy, so okay. I'm gonna give you the words if you will speak to, the, <coughs> speak to her. Yep. <clears throat> Hi, Tony. Hi, Tony. Offer myself completely to you, Darcy. Offer myself completely to you, Darcy. To be your husband. To be your husband. In marriage. In marriage. I promise to love you with all my heart. I promise to love you with all my heart. To be true and faithful. To be true and faithful. Patient and kind. Patient and kind. And unselfish in my love. And unselfish in my love. I promise to stand beside you always. I promise to stand beside you always. In times of joy. In times of joy. In times of trial. In times of trial. And in times of sorrow. And in times of sorrow. I pledge myself. I pledge myself. And all that I am in love. All that I am in love. Now you can relax. <laughs> Did a great job. Great job. Okay, Darcy. I'm going to give you the words that you're going to speak to Tony. Okay. I, Darcy, take you, Tony. I, Darcy, take you, Tony. To be my partner in life. To be my partner in life. I will cherish our friendship. I will cherish our friendship. And love you today, tomorrow, and forever. I love you today, tomorrow, and forever. I will trust you and honor you. I will trust you and honor you. I will love you faithfully. I will love you faithfully. Through the best and the worst. Through the best and the worst. Through the difficult and the easy. Through the difficult and the easy. What may come. What may come. I will always be there. I will always be there. As I've given you my hands to hold. I've given you my hands to hold. So I give you my life to keep. So I give you my life to keep. Through all the changes. Through all the changes. Of our lives together. Of our lives together. Now, if you'll keep these two hands together and turn and face me. Oops, sorry. Let's see how we're going to do this, because this is the opposite side. <laughs> <laughs> but this is your ring. Yes. I'm going to give to you in just a moment. For centuries, we've used rings as sealed spoken vows, the vows which you've just heard Tony and Darcy speak as a witness before all of you, saying they promise to make this a forever love affair. Is the ring is never ending, but complete in its form, so is your marriage to be endless and complete in your love each for the other. So will you take your ring and place it on her ring finger? Yes. And will you say these words to her? With this ring. With this ring. I pledge to you. I pledge to you. My faithful vows. My faithful vows. And I'm gonna ask you to take your ring and place it on Tony's finger. Oh. And would you say these words with this ring? With this ring, I pledge to you. I pledge to you my faithful love. My faithful love. Now, <laughs> it'll go. <laughs> there we go. It's gone. <laughs> there you go. Now, if you'll turn around and face everybody. Now that Tony and Darcy have just sealed their relationship by the exchanging of vows, by giving and receiving rings, this covenant is a relationship between you two who agree that you're committing yourselves to each other for the rest of your lives. Today you've chosen to symbolize this commitment together by pouring two individual containers of sand, <coughs> representing you, Tony, all that you were, all that you are, and all that you ever be, and the other representing you, Darcy, all that you are, and all that you were, and all that you ever be. I believe you're going to be joined by your son. So if, if you'll move over to the sand. <clears throat> Jackson will join them and as they pour their individual containers into the empty container, you can go ahead and start doing that. The individual containers of sand will no longer exist but will be joined together in one, and just as these grains of sand can never be divided again, so will your marriage be.
<laughs> it's gonna be a tight squeeze. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Why not? Go, Jackson. And I believe they're going to get it done. Yeah, there, there it is. There it is. Yeah. yeah. We got there in the end. Yeah. Jackson can be seated. Jackson, you come sit back down. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. If you guys will come back up in front of me. <laughs> and now it's my very special honor. Because Tony and Darcy have just consented together in this beautiful celebration of marriage. They have pledged their faith in each other and have declared the same by joining hands and giving and receiving a ring. It is now my very special honor to pronounce you husband and wife according to the law of Florida. Congratulations. Tony may, <laughs> you may kiss your bride. If you'll turn and face everybody, I'd like to introduce Mr. and Mrs. Tony Crabb. <laughs> and you can walk out.
my eyes <laughs> Part of the way that I stand There's nothing else to compare Inside of me short and sweet. I don't like being centre attention. Oh. I don't like being up here. Come on. <laughs> Basically, I've been asked to say a few words. Now, thank you, Darcy and Tony, for giving me this opportunity. You know, I'm a bit shy. I'm not good, too keen on this sort of thing. <laughs> now, obviously, it's been a beautiful day so far. Darcy, you look fantastic. First and last time I'll ever say that to you, but you look gorgeous <laughs> today. Tony, you're Tony. <laughs> all right. Thank you. It's been a um, love, as we all know, and marriage is a fantastic thing. Sometimes, but generally, as long as it works well, oh, he says good. Uh, I apologise, the minister stole quite a few of my phrases and words. <laughs> just ruined it for me. But the key thing he said, and I'll agree with 100%, never go to bed angry. The key fact to a happy marriage is don't do it. All right? All happens is emotions stir overnight and you wake up angry. If you talk on the phone, always finish with I love you. Okay? Oh. Never finish a conversation in an <laughs> argument. All right? It's... Uh, mm -hmm. My words. It, it's a fantastic thing. All right, as long as you know it, and do it. There's a famous person once said, "Nobody wins in the battle of sexes." All right, there's too much fraternisation with the enemy. Uh. Okay. All I can say is, I wish you the best of luck. Hope you have a long and enjoyable marriage and a long and enjoyable life. And we're waiting for number four. Okay. Oh, <laughs> That's four of you, not four kids. Oh, right, I thought you meant four children, all that. Well, I'd like to. Please take glasses. Will you be upstanding? Obviously, not you two. <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> First of all, I'd like to toast the bride for looking gorgeous today. The bride. To the bride. bride. Yay! Oh, yay. 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 Yes. Next, to the happy couple. Maybe a long and fruitious marriage. To the happy, to the happy couple. couple. And to the matron of honour. 
You look good. <laughs> the ceremony was lovely, beautiful, more than I imagined. Um, and I'm just so happy I got to marry you, my best friend today. My soulmate. My soulmate. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the ceremony was beautiful. Um, I'd like to thank everyone for coming. Um, it was really, really pleasant experience, and I'm so happy that I've married the woman I love. Mm.